Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host from Vision 33. And today our topic on Wednesday Web Chat is going to be about the SAP Business One version 10, new features and functions. Today, focused on project management, inventory, and production. So what's new in SAP Business One version 10 and what changes have been made? First of all, let's talk about the project management. What's been added is an interactive Gantt chart. And the feature is basically that interactive Gantt chart will allow project phases to be moved or extended, shortened interactively. And there are new fields added representing project due date and finish date. The big benefit is of course, that projects can be updated according to planning changes within the interactive Gantt chart. So it's much more visible for you. And it's easier and more visual planning of project management tasks. Now let's take a look at a little demo about project management and the enhancements that are made. SAP Business One 10.0 Project Management Enhancements. We would like to introduce a couple of enhancements to the Gantt chart. Project management tasks can be planned visually by using the interactive Gantt chart. All sub projects are shown in the chart. The due date and finish date fields help keeping control on the project dates management. Move project phases interactively Extend or shorten them to optimize projects. When updating the Gantt chart, all changes are updated accordingly in each related project stage. Setting project stages to finished will be shown in the Gantt chart. And these status cannot be changed anymore in the Gantt chart. So that was some good news for those of you that uh, used projects in SAP Business One. It's a feature that's been asked for for a long time. And it doesn't take long to uh, show you how it works a little bit, but uh, it's really, really important to you if you manage a lot of projects. Next is uh, inventory and distribution. And first off is serial and batch number management. So this feature, the serial number management and batch management, now includes the ability to update an AR reserve invoice and in inventory transfer requests. So those marketing documents, if you will, have been added to the number of marketing documents that can be impacted by serial and batch number management. The destination warehouse code and the destination warehouse name are also now included in the serial number batch management update form, so the less of a chance of, of confusion. And there are some new reports available as of batch level one, uh, forward batches and serials trace report and reverse batches and serials trace report. The benefit of course, is that more document options exist when updating serial numbers and batches and better reporting on warehouse code or on warehouse name on inventory transfer transactions are available. Secondly, it now supports changing the unit of measure group in the item master data. So the unit of measure groups may now be changed on an item master data record. To do this, the new unit of measure group must have at least the identical set of conversion rules as the original unit of measure group. Only need to zero down and close open documents on changed unit of measure group definitions, of course, and set the unit of measure in its unit of measure group to active. More flexibility, of course, is what you're going to get changing the unit measure group and relationships for the item master data. So now we can see a little demo about those new changes in inventory and distribution. SAP Business One 10.0 Inventory Enhancements. We would like to introduce a couple of enhancements in inventory management. The enhancements in serial and batch number management and the unit of measurement UOM group 
changing. In the batch number and serial number management, the document types A are reserve invoices and inventory transfer requests are now included when updating the batches or serial numbers. Performing an update via the global update button affects the serial numbers or batches in the related document only. The newly added fields, destination warehouse code and destination warehouse name gives more transparency on the inventory transfer transaction. Be more flexible in changing units of measurement, UOM group relationships or item master data. To do this, the new EUUOM group must have at least the identical set of conversation rules as the original UOM group. Then the relationship for a particular item can be changed also when having open documents. To change the conversation rate within this particular UOM group, zero down or close the open documents and the UOM group conversation rate definition can be changed. Thank you. So now we want to talk a little bit about production, of course, and bill of materials has always been one of the great strengths of SAP Business One because there are so many different types of bills of materials giving you a lot of flexibility throughout the system, but they can always be made better. So there's some new features. The item description update in the item master data connected to the bill of materials parent item will be reflected in the bill of materials product description. The item and resource descriptions are editable in the bill of materials and production order components. And additionally, the item description can be updated via the DI API. The benefit is that the item master data record, record descriptions updated accordingly within the associated bill of materials. So when you make a change to the item description right, at, the, at the master item level, it's automatically updated to the bill of materials, which did not used to be the case. This will give you more flexible handling, handling of item and resource descriptions in the bill of materials. You can also drill down from the bill of materials to the item master data. So this direct drill down to the item master data record is now possible from the parent item number. And that's in place of um, going directly to the bill of materials. Now this is a choice and uh, there's an option to set that in terms of which way do you wanna go. So it's a more intuitive and direct navigation between bill of materials and item master and just gives you more flexibility within navigation due to the system prompt and navigation choices. So now we'll take a look at those examples. SAP Business One 10.0 Production Enhancement. We would like to introduce a couple of enhancements in production. The possibility to apply the item description update to the bill of materials and to drill down from bill of materials to item master data directly.
item descriptions in item master data record connected to bill of materials are reflected in the bill of materials product description. Changes of item master data descriptions are reflected accordingly within the associated bill of materials by accepting the system message. Activate the setting, open item master data instead of bill of materials of a BOM item when selecting link arrow. To open from every document and report the item master data window instead of the bill of materials window. Thank you. So those are the examples of some of the new features and benefits we wanted to share with you today. And next week, we're going to conclude this series on what's new in SAP Business One version 10. We're going to take a look at some of the, call it the extensibility changes that have been made in the product uh, so that its uh, long-term life is uh, increased and its ability to integrate with other solutions is enhanced. So there's, it's a good section. And uh, we'll look forward to joining you then. I didn't see uh, necessarily uh, any questions today. So uh, we'll let you go with a short session and look forward to seeing you on our next session of Wednesday Web Chat.